Hi, I'm Marcus Newsom, Superintendent of Chesterfield County Public Schools, and welcome to Newsmakers. Today joining me is Randall Bedford, who is a ninth grade student at Meadowbrook High School, and today we're here to talk about our newest specialty center. So uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, the first thing I like to talk about is how I like the program because it is, um, like it takes your ideas and like your passions, and it actually uses your ideas and creates a realistic concept that we can actually pitch to um, just um, anyone that we see. Okay, so what, what, what is the name of the program? Well, it's Meadowbrook Academy for Digital Entrepreneurship, but we like to shorten it, just call it MADE. MADE, okay. Yeah, we just call it the MADE program. Well, this is certainly one of the more unique programs in the state, and uh, we're very proud that you are in the first class because Thank we're starting you. this year, and it starts with ninth graders. Yes, it does. And so you'll be there for the next several years. So tell us some of the things that you hope to experience while you're in the program. Well, so far we started coding, but really I want to go more into coding. I think that's a very unexplored career that would be very interesting. And just a little help um, maybe with advertising and just some of the ideas for uh, pitching when we do those. So uh, several weeks ago I was over at your school and um, the governor uh, visited uh, and he was interested about the program but you were one of the students representing the school. I was. Yeah. I was there. Um, I got to ask a few, uh, answer a few questions for them. It was really cool. Yeah. So uh, he was talking about uh, 30,000 jobs that are not filled that will need students uh, who experience programs like this, coding and other technology programs and so you're going to have a bright future. Um, why, why are you interested in specialty centers and specifically why are your interest in MAID? Well, originally I was going to go to my home high school with all my friends, but when I heard that a program that I, um, that I later applied to um, had the, the things that I wanted, um, cause I wanted to be a business owner, so when I heard that it would help me with that, I really was, was like, okay, I have to do this. So you want to be an entrepreneur, and so it, it's fitting that you would enter a program in digital entrepreneurship. Yes. So you have three more years in the program. I do. Uh, what are some of the things you expect to be engaged in? Well, I expect um, to see a little more like celebrities, like uh, the governor, maybe a new governor, I don't know, something like that. To, um, I'll probably make it see that one, some of them. I um, also expect maybe right now, um, I know we work with a few entrepreneurs, but it would be kind of cool to see uh, some of the other ones that it's just unexplored careers that would be really cool to see. Yeah, you have a very large uh, contingency of businesses that support the program, and so I'm sure that's going to expand each year. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, tell me some of the other things that you're involved with at Meadowbrook High School. Well, since I'm a freshman, it was like I, that's outside my um, district zone. I really hadn't gotten into, uh, in, into anything yet, but I really wanted to um, get into like the basketball program and just some of the clubs there. I am in the... the um, it's called the FBLA Club, which is Future Business Leaders of America. Mm -hmm. So I'm in that, and that meets every once a week, and I, it's a lot of fun. Well, I'm sure that's going to um, help you become a well-rounded student. And um, again, we're so impressed that you would join a, a program of this nature as a freshman and uh, be such a leader. You have a great future, great future ahead of you, Randall. Thank, thank you so you. much for joining us today, and thank you for joining us today on Newsmakers. 